Aquarius Risings March 2022 is around stepping into your own power and abundance. You've done a lot of internal work and it's time to have that externally manifest. If you're excited to dive into what March 2020 holds for you and your sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. There's been some issues with even people that hit the bell not hearing about things, so I do also post everything in my Telegram channel down below. Want to keep you all updated, and for some reason, some things aren't working, so letting you know all the options. Hi, I'm Erin. I am a Western, mostly Hellenistic astrologer that uses the tropical zodiac and whole sign houses. I do astrology, I do crypto, and if you're looking to get into crypto, I have referral links down below at trusted websites of exchanges where you can get started if you're interested. From the 1st to the 12th, Venus will be conjunct Mars, and this is most intense when it's conjunct Pluto from the 2nd to the 4th in your Capricorn 12th house. There is a lot of going after spiritual practices, psychological practices, inner self-help that you are grinding at. You are putting in the work, my friend. You are going at it. You are not skipping any steps in regards to your spiritual or mental well-being. And on the second, there is a beautiful new moon in your second house. New moons are new beginnings, and the second house is finances. Could be a plan to earn income. Could also be around possessions or values in a non-monetary sense. But most likely, this is going to be a really beautiful new beginning around an income stream and the direct plan of action to achieve that financial goal. On the second as well, Mercury will be conjoining Saturn in your Aquarius first house. Mercury Saturn is serious communication and the first house is you. So it looks like you will be announcing something very serious about yourself or a realization you need to get out there on the beginning of the month as well. Then on the fourth to the sixth, the sun will join Jupiter in your Pisces second house. This is wonderful for being recognized or awarded something financially. You could be getting a raise. You could also be getting good news or around your financial like setup in your life that brings uh, a lot of solutions to you. On the sixth as well, Venus and Mars are entering your first house. That is drive, that is spotlight on you, that is attention of you going after something. So from the sixth onward, it is go time. You've worked internally and now you are working on showing that to the world. Also on the 12th, the sun will conjoin Neptune in your second house. This is euphoric. This might even be too good to be true regarding your finances. So do watch out for thinking that things are too good to be true, putting yourself on a pedestal, overspending when you think you have money you don't quite have yet, that kind of thing. But it is pretty euphoric on the 12th monetarily, mon monetary wise, excuse me. On the 18th, there's then a full moon in your Virgo 8th house. Full moons are culminations, completions, and endings. And the 8th house is finances that we share. So it could be that you have paid off all your debts, you're ending owing someone money, you're ending an investment, you finally get money in your bank account after owing it to someone else for a while. And on the 18th to 23rd, Venus and Mars in your first house are squaring Uranus in your fourth house. So do watch out for home or family life throwing a wrench in your plans to put yourself out there. So like some instability or backlash from home or family could be in store around the 18th to the 23rd. On the 20th, the sun is entering Aries, beginning the astrological new year. And for you, this is your third house of day-to-day -day routine regarding news, communication, or writing. Could also be commuting or neighbors. Like there's a lot of busy work. You're ready to be heard, ready to put your voice out into the world and write or release something creatively. Finally, we end the month on the 28th to 29th with Venus conjoining Saturn in your first house. This is kind of a reaping what you or drawing a bittersweet boundary around your identity and who you are. It's kind of like niching down and being like, well, I don't talk about all these things, but it's worth talking about only these things. Let me know in a comment down below how this month is feeling for you. Any thoughts, any predictions, anything to share? Would love to hear from you. The card for Aquarius Risings for March 2022 is actually the sign of Gemini. Explore, learn, experiment, share, communicate. So it might be your time to become more extroverted in the world. You have done a lot of the internal thoughts and now it's about delivering that to the world, becoming a little bit more curious and sharing more. Very much looking forward to this March. I hope you are as well. In the meantime, you can check out some other videos on my channel, like the March entire month forecast, or it's coming up for you with the full or new moon, as I mentioned. Otherwise, can't wait to see you in the next one and take care. Oh, well,